Hello and welcome to Gabriel's 3D Printing. Today we'll be looking at these picture frames that are uh, 4 by 6 inches or 10 by 15 centimeters, uploaded and designed by me. So uh, if you want to take a look at the actual frames, I included renderings of every single one of them. So you can just click here on the image previews and take a look, see which one you like best, or which one you do want to print. So first things first, we will go down to the settings and see if we have any specifications. And I wrote, no rafts, yes this supports a resolution of 0.28 millimeters and an infill of 20%. And the most important is you will have to change the orientation of the frame. So keep that in mind. If you want to have some general specs or general sizing on the frame, take a look here and you'll see like the height of the frame, the depth, the angle, and uh, all that other stuff. So once you're ready, go up here to the download all files. And once you do, you're going to have quite a few files like this. Now you only need two of them. The one you absolutely have to print will be the back plate. And then you can print whatever frame you want or whatever frames, considering these are interchangeable. Meaning uh, if one day you want to use one frame and switch it out the next day, then you can do that. And like I said, you can either look at the pictures here or you can actually double click on the STL to open the native uh, Windows STL viewer. So you can take a look there as well. So whichever you want, select. Now we're gonna print this, uh, we're gonna print the backplate and the frame separately. So let's start off with just the backplate. So click and hold on the backplate and drag it to your preferred slicer of choice. And give it a few seconds to load in. Once the back plate has finished loading in, we will have to reorientate it. So in order to do that, you're going to click on the model. We're going to go down to the third box, which is rotate. And we're going to go to the third button, which is select face to align to build plate and click on that. Now you're going to move your mouse around the model until those lines disappear. And now we're going to click anywhere on this surface right here. So the top surface, and that should reorientate our model such that that flat surface is in the bottom and these legs are sticking up as you can see here. So, Next thing, we're going to make sure that this is centered. So we're going to go to the top button over here. And we're going to type in 000 for all the coordinates. And that should center our model along the print bed. Next, we're going to go up here to the settings and we're going to select the layer height. So in order to do that, click on the profile tab right here and select whatever layer height you want. I was fine at a 0 0.28 millimeters, so select that if you want to have the exact same settings as me, but you can go finer if you want. And if this pops up, click on the discard changes. That's going to erase all previous profile modifications. Now we don't need to mess with the shell infill uh, supports for this one. We will not need any supports. I believe this angle over here is like 45. So you shouldn't need supports for that. Build pit adhesion. We have plenty of contact area. So no need to mess with any of that. And uh, for the back plate, you are set. All I have to do is click the slice button and give it a few seconds to slice up. Now for the back plate, we're given a time estimate of roughly 2 hours and 55 minutes to print. And we're also given a 31 gram filament estimated usage. But these numbers will depend on your printer and the settings that you selected. Now we always preview the print and take a look around. And everything looks perfectly normal. So now is the time to send this file over to your printer and start printing. Because now we have to get the actual frame ready. In order to start the frame, we're first going to go to the prepare tab, but make sure you have saved the file and it's printing. So uh, once that's set, go to the prepare tab over here, click on this back plate and click on delete. And that'll basically just erase it from the build plate. Now we can go back to the files and you can select whatever frame you want. Um, for this purpose or for this uh, video, I will do the uh, birds frame, the STL. All the settings will be identical for every frame, so don't worry about anything uh, changing. So once it's in, you're going to see that it's also orientated pretty weirdly. So we do have to orientate it uh, to be flat on the build plate. And once again, we're going to click on the model to do that. We're going to go down to the third button, third button here as well. Hover your mouse over the model. And we always, for every frame, want the bottom of the frame to be aligned with the build plate, not the top. So the design has to be facing upwards. So we're going to hold right click and move our camera. And we're going to click on the flat plate on this outer edge right here. Just click anywhere and it should orientate it flat. Now you see it's hovering midair and we don't want that. So we do have to center it once again. So click on the top button over here 
and make sure every coordinate is set to 0, 0, 0. And that should align our uh, frame at the very uh, center of the build plate. So same thing with the quality. We're going to go to profile, select your layer height, 0 0.28 millimeters for me. We're not going to mess with the shell infill. But for all the frames, you will need a support. No matter what frame you selected, you will need a support for this. Um, for the support overhang angle, you can choose whatever angle you want. Most printers are fine are around a 55 degree angle. For me, I have a CR10, so mine's fine at 60 degrees. So I'll type 60 there. Don't mess with anything else. Keep everything as it is. For the build plate adhesion, we don't need any build plate adhesion. There's plenty of contact area. And uh, there's nothing else we have to do, so just click on the slice button and give the frame a few seconds to slice up. Once the frame is finished slicing, you should be given a time estimate of roughly 5 hours and 37 minutes to print, but you probably will have it lower considering I clicked on the uh, bird frame. Every other frame should print significantly faster. But uh, you'll also be given a 53 gram uh, filament estimated usage. Now you always preview the print. And for most of uh, the frames, you'll only see support in this little intersection, this little blue line right here on the inside. But like I said, for other designs that do have things popping out, you might have some, like on this frame, the bird frame, where there's things that are not directly on top of the build plate. But yeah, other than that, everything looks normal. So save the file, send it over to your printer, and print this once the back plate has finished printing. Assembly is going to be pretty straightforward. The first thing you have to do is remove the support from the frame. Now for every single frame you're going to have the support inside of the frame on the inner edges. So just go around the inside perimeter and remove the support carefully. It shouldn't be too hard to remove with your bare hands. The back plate didn't require any supports or build plate adhesions so that should be ready to go straight off the build plate. Next you're going to grab a photo that is 4 by 6 inches or 10 by 15 centimeters. I chose this picture of this cute chihuahua because my girlfriend Malene is allergic to dogs and this will probably be the closest I will ever get to owning a cute little chihuahua. To insert the photo, simply turn the frame around and align the photo such that it sits nicely on the frame and then pop in the back plate. Simply snap it in in all four corners and you are set to go. There's no glue or adhesives and you can always remove the back plate and switch out the frame whenever you want to. Finished assembly should look a little bit like this. Here you can see the fully assembled model. It's a pretty cool model that requires no tape or adhesives and everything stands up on its own without falling out or causing any issues. And once again, the frame is fully replaceable. So if you get tired of one frame, simply print out another one, insert the photo, insert the back plate, and you are set to go with a brand new frame. Hopefully this model lets people print more photos rather than just having photos on their phone. This is definitely something cool to have in your home or office.